These are the lucky dogs. They are leaving the shelter and heading to Montana, where there is a shortage of adoptable dogs. There's certain states, uh, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, that don't have uh, a huge amount of homeless dogs. So they and they move them out pretty quick because they have a lot of people they're adopting, and so they can find homes from a lot faster than areas like California and the bigger states that have a lot of homeless pets. These volunteers came together quickly, as they frequently do, to move the dogs. Most of the time, they fly the dogs to their destination, but these missed the flight, so it's a 20-hour road trip for them. This was a rush to get this done because we didn't want to see what would happen if we didn't. The shelter has a population of between four and 500 dogs all the time. There is never a vacancy sign out. That's when the rescue people come in to help. We had to find some way for them to get to Montana, so Karen had this idea that she was going to drive, and I said, you know what, I'll cancel my weekend plans, drive to Montana. It's on the bucket list for me anyways. Nicole promised these two Huskies, Zeus and Athena, she would rescue them. I just worked with them and I made a promise to them that I would get them out and get them to rescue to a better life so that they didn't die. You get emotionally invested in these dogs and it's a done deal. After missing their plane flight a few days ago, their journey ran into another obstacle. The new rented van didn't have air conditioning in the back for the dogs. We're going to make it work, we always do. A quick trip to buy a fan, ice and misters and the hope of mild weather along the way put this rescue effort back on track. We do this because we know the alternative to what's going to happen to these dogs. All right. All right. Yeah. From the Central Valley to the big blue skies of Montana, they should be in their new home by Saturday afternoon. In Modesto, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.